We're all becoming more familiar with automation. For example, when we walk into a room with automatic lights, they turn on. The lights are programmed so that if the sensor sees movement, then the lights turn on. Likewise, Linode stack scripts are scripts that you use when you deploy a new Linode instance. So if you create a new Linode instance with a stack script, then the stack script could update your system software or install your favorite Linux tools or add a limited user account. You can even use stack scripts to help with clusters. Stack scripts in combination with the Linode API can help you to elastically automate deployment and management of a cluster's node. But stack scripts don't need if else statements. They can do anything that a scripting language can do. Rather than manually doing tasks to a Linode each time, a stack script can automate these actions for you as part of your Linode's first boot process. So manually subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more stuff like this. And if you enjoy automating things, then let's learn about stack scripts. Now that we know what a stack script does, let's answer why you would want to use one. Well, it's because Linode makes it easy for you to consistently deploy the same services. One thing that makes stack scripts really powerful is that the community is able to share their own stack scripts with each other. So you too can search and add them to your Linodes. And stack scripts are really easy to write, as we'll see later. There are two types, account stack scripts and community stack scripts. An account stack script is one that is authored by you. A community stack script is a stack script created by a Linode community member that has made their stack script publicly available in the Linode Cloud Manager. All of this is happening on top of Linode's default Linux distribution images. So here's a Debian image on your Linode, and here's a system that you want deployed to it. And with a simple script, your deployment is automatically configured to the specifications dictated in your stack script. All of these personal account and community stack scripts are stored in your Linode Cloud Manager and can be accessed whenever you deploy a Linode. So let's go into Linode's Cloud Manager and you'll see stack scripts on the left sidebar. Before I create my own, let's browse to see what others have created and shared. We can use a search box for something specific or we can browse by user, deployments, last revision, and more. There's this kebab, which looks like an ellipses, to deploy a new Linode in one click. So what does the code look like? Well, look at this code. This checks to see what package manager is installed on the system, and then use that package manager to update the server with the latest packages. Without going line by line, what do you notice? If and then. It says, if this happens, then this happens. And the next section says, if that still didn't happen, then this should happen. Stack scripts can be in any language that has support in the default distro image. Like Bash is common, but Python and other languages also work. They just need the right shebang at the top. So for the first line of your script, this would be for Bash, and this would be for Python. And if you like recursion, stack scripts can also include other stack scripts. Here's how. Simply import the stack script on line one and then execute it on line two, which leads me to our next section adding stack scripts. Aside from importing them on line one of your code, you can also add them in the Linode Cloud Manager. I'll take the package manager stack script code from earlier and upload it. I'll click on create new stack scripts, give it a label, description, image, script, and a note, and then finalize it. And there, we just created our first stack script. Deploying stack scripts. Okay, we wrote our first script and just uploaded it, so now let's deploy it with a new Linode. You might think that this section is going to be long and complicated. Actually, it couldn't be easier. I'll click on Create a Linode, and notice at the top is a Stack Scripts link. I'll click on that and choose my Stack Script, or search for one that is public in the Community Stack Scripts. And that's it. It's really that simple. Making it public. Stack Scripts default to being private. However, you have the option to make them public so that they can be shared amongst the Linode community. If I want this to be public, then after it's in my private account, I go to the right and click on the kebab or that ellipses. Then I'll choose Make Stack Script Public. And take note that this action is irreversible because once public, you will not be able to delete the stack script. 
On this channel, I frequently mention about Linode's awesome documentation. So of course, we have documentation about writing scripts, importing scripts, managing scripts, and so much more. And if you want to read anything that Linode has mentioned about stack scripts, then use the search bar at the very top of the website for the blog post and other media that we have on that topic. Now, let's talk about cost. Stack scripts are free to create, free to include in your Linode, and free to use any other stack script that someone else has made. So to recap, one, Linode stack script is a script that you want to launch at the startup of a new Linode instance. For example, you can automate installing a Linux tool. Number two, stack scripts can be publicly shared with others. But remember, once they're public, you can't make them private. Number three, stack scripts can be written in Bash, Python, or some other languages by simply using the shebang at the top. And number four, stack scripts are easy, fun, useful, and free. And that's it. Remember to manually subscribe to our YouTube channel and then use stack scripts to automate your Linodes. Thanks.